Hello everyone, welcome to Let's Grab It episode number 5. Let's Grab It is a series where I showcase the creation of vector art using Gravit Designer, a free, cross-platform, and fully featured vector design application. I will include a link to the website below for more information. Today the subject will be a girl character. Please feel free to pause the video as needed in order to follow along and be sure to ask any questions you may have in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and let's get started. We begin by creating an Instagram post template from the homepage. Press E for the ellipse tool, and we're going to drag out a circle with a slight ovular shape, not much. And we're going to give it a skin tone, so choose orange and come up near the top. Drag it and snap it to the center. Now press E. We're going to create an oval on the face. And I'm going to give it, I think, a pink tone. Maybe not. Maybe more of a red. Yeah, I like that better. Okay, and that's going to be like a cheek, like a rosy cheek. We're going to copy it, Control C, Control V, hold Shift, and drag it to the other side of the face. Then we'll select both holding Shift and center them to the head. Good. Press R for rectangle, drag out a rectangle, and round the corners completely in. Now we want to give it a dark fill. Go to the blue and give it a dark blue fill, not quite black, and then drag it on the head. Then resize it right about there or so. Okay. Now, um, the cheeks I think are a little too big. I want to make it a little smaller. So resize that one, delete the other one, copy it with Control C, Control V, and hold Shift to drag it over. Then select both with shift and let them snap to the head. And we're going to drag the eye over just a little. And we're going to kind of get this where we want it. I'm thinking right about there. Right about there. Yeah. Then copy it out with control C, control V, drag it over holding shift, select both holding shift and then snap them to the center of the head. There we go. Press R for rectangle and drag out a rectangle shape and then round the corners completely in. Then press R for the rectangle tool and we're going to drag a rectangle over half of that shape. Select both shapes, go up and choose subtract. And we're going to take the bottom shape, we're going to resize and make it a little bigger and a little smaller. Let it snap to the center of the head. And then we want to give it a red fill. So we're going to choose red and go about kind of a midway red. Good. It's like the whole shape, holding shift, resize it, and then resnap it to the canvas. Press E for the ellipse tool, holding shift, drag out a small circle. We want to give it a light fill. I'm thinking like a maybe a white or a light gray. And drag it over into the eye. It's going to be a pupil. And we're going to move this around and get it where we want it. But I do think I want it more of a white than a gray. Yeah, there we go. Drag it down a little. Oop. Then we're going to copy it with Control C, Control V, drag it up, and resize it. Make it smaller. And I don't know if I want it white or a different color. Uh, move it up. A little smaller. Move it over. Um, I think I want it white. Yeah, we'll make it the same white. Okay, put it right about there. Very good. Then we'll select both shapes holding shift. Copy them with Control C, Control V, and holding Shift, we will drag them. Very good. Press E for the ellipse tool and drag out a circle holding Shift. Then for the color, we want it slightly darker, so drag it down just a little bit from the head color. Then we're going to resize it and drag it to the side of the head. And send it to the back with Control shift down There we go, right about there. Now we're going to copy that shape with Control c Control v and Then holding Shift and Alt, we're going to resize it to the center of the circle. And we want that color to be slightly darker, not too much, right about there. It's like the both shapes, copy them, control C, control V, and drag them to the other side of the head and let them snap. And select both ears, holding shift, and let them snap to the center. There we go. 
Press R for rectangle, drag out a small rectangle and round the corners completely in. Then make it a little more narrow. Press R again, drag a rectangle over the top of the shape, choose both shapes, and go choose subtract. Then we want to take the shape that's left, drag it to the center of the face, let it snap. And then for the color, we want to pick the color tool and give it the center ear color. Press P for the pad tool, and we're going to make some eyelashes coming off the eye. So here we're going to be creating custom shape. So what you want to do is drag out a nice angle, bend it a little bit, and then go back to that point, hold Alt and click it to cut it, and then drag another angle, drag it over and close the shape. Then we're going to select a border and delete it, and we're going to make the infill the same color as the eye. Then we're going to copy the shape with Control C, Control V, flip it horizontally, and then holding Shift, we're going to drag it to the other side. Then select both holding Shift and snap them to the center of the face. And now we're going to go ahead and save it. So let's hit Control S, and then I have a Let's Grab It folder. So in there, I'm going to name this file Girl. There we go. Press E for the ellipse tool, then holding shift, we're gonna drag out a small circle, and we're gonna give it a purple fill, kind of a pastel -y purple. And we're gonna drag it up on the ear, we're gonna hit Control X, and then we're gonna select that inner ear shape and hit Control V to paste it on top of it. And we're gonna resize it just a little bit. Good. And we're gonna copy that shape with Control C, Control V. Drag it down and resize it. And I want the color to be slightly darker, so drag it down just a little bit. And we're going to take that top shape, copy it again with Control C, Control V, drag it down, and we're going to resize it and make it smaller than the bottom shape. Very good. Now take the middle shape, send it to the back with Control Shift down, and then take the bottom shape, drag it up, and there we go. Just kind of stack it. Now select all three shapes and make a group with Control G. Then copy that group with Control C, Control V, and drag it to the other side of the head. And then we'll cut it with Control X, choosing the ear, and paste it in front of the ear. Nice. Now we'll select both shapes holding Shift and snap them to the center of the head. There we go. I want to move the cheeks up a bit, so we'll select them both holding Shift and drag them up just a little bit. Better. Press R for the rectangle tool, pick the same color as the ear, center it on the head, and then send it to the back with Control shift down This will create a neck. What I generally do when I get midway through a drawing is I copy the entire shape with Control c Control v and then holding Shift, I drag it off the canvas. This is primarily for me to keep as a reference, just in case I mess something up or I just want to go back and look at how I had it to begin with. You don't have to do this step. Press E for the ellipse tool and holding shift, let's drag a perfect circle. And we want to give it like a yellowish blonde color and then bring it down on the head a little bit and see how it looks against the skin. Okay. Move it down just a bit. Now we're going to copy it with Control C, Control V, and drag it over a little. And then select both shapes holding Shift and center them on the head. And I want the color a little bit lighter. Not much. There we go. Now press E for the ellipse tool and we want to drag an oval out. Give it the same color as the top hair and send it to the back with Control Shift down. Drag it right about in the center of the head. And now what we want to do is holding Alt, we'll drag in from the side, and this will drag both sides at the same time when holding Alt, and then slide it up a little. Okay. Now I want to bring in the side just a bit more behind the ears. Very good. Press E for the ellipse tool, drag out a circle holding Shift, and we want to give it the same purple fill as the top earring. Then press Control C, Control V to copy the item. Holding Shift and Alt, drag it toward the center, and then change the fill to the middle earring color, the middle purple. Then press R for the rectangle tool, drag out a rectangle over top of it, round the corners completely in, send it to the back with Control Shift down, 
center it, and then give it the same fill as the center of the bow. And we're gonna select it all, hit Control G to group it. We're gonna drag it up on the head. And I think what we'll do is we'll slightly rotate it and resize it a bit and see if we can't get it somewhere on the top of that head. And just play with this till you're happy with it. There's no right or wrong here. Good. Now I'm gonna take the entire head, copy it with Control C, Control V, hold Shift and move it to the right. Again, this just creates a reference. You don't have to do this. Press R for the rectangle tool and we're gonna draw out a rectangle for the body and we're gonna round the corners completely in. Actually, we wanna round the corners on the neck as well, so go ahead and do that. Take the body shape and snap it to the center of the neck and resize it until you're happy with it. Then give it the same color fill as the neck for a body. Then we're gonna copy that body with Control C, Control V. And I wanna give it kind of a light pastel-y pink color. Right about there. Press E for the ellipse tool and drag out a perfect circle holding shift. Drag it to the top of the shirt and the neck and let it snap. Now we wanna select the circle and the shirt and go up and choose subtract. This will create a neckline for the shirt. Now press R for the rectangle tool. Drag out a rectangle just below the hairline to the bottom of the body. Now what we want to do is copy that rectangle and paste it. Choose the rectangle in the shirt and go up and choose subtract. Choose the other rectangle in the body and go up and choose subtract. And this will cut them both off. And there we go. We're gonna select the entire image and slide it up. And we're gonna select the shirt and we're gonna hit Control Shift P to convert it to a path. Press R for the rectangle tool and let's drag out a rectangle right here for the belt. And it's a bit too big, so holding Alt, I'm gonna drag it in from the side. And we wanna give it the same color fill as the eyes. There we go. Press R for the rectangle tool, and I want to make a rectangle below the belt, right about, hmm, no, I think I'll actually make it wider. Press R again. Let's make it slightly wider than the belt, and drag it down. There we go. And then let's center it to the body, and snap it in there. Good. Once you have it where you want it, right about there, okay. Select the square, press Control shift p to convert to a path, and then press the D key. And we're gonna drag in the top two sides just below the belt like that. And we're gonna give it a purple color. So choose purple and go with kind of a pastel -y purple. Good. Now press E for the ellipse tool, holding shift, drag out a circle for the belt buckle and leave it a light gray color and center it on the belt. We're gonna do something different for the arms this time. Press E for the ellipse tool and drag a big circle out over top of the body. Then select it and snap it to the center and give it the same color fill as the neck. Then we're gonna take the circle, hit Control X, choose the hair and press Control V to paste it in front of it. And then here I'm just gonna manipulate it. I'm gonna move it up and down on the body and resize it. And what I'm going for is I want the bottom of the ellipse to basically meet close to the waist. And again, this is more just personal preference. You can have the arms as big or small as you want. It's just the way that I wanna have it. I'll take the circle, copy it with Control C, Control V, and then holding Shift and Alt, drag it toward the center. Then select both circles and go up and choose Subtract. Now press R for the rectangle tool, draw out a small rectangle around the corners about mm, halfway. Give it the same color fill as the face, and then drag it over to this arm and rotate it slightly and resize it to where you're satisfied. Okay, a little smaller. There we go. So I wanna cut the arms in half. 
So press R for the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle over half of the arm shape. Choose both shapes and go up and choose subtract. Select that arm, copy it with Ctrl C, Ctrl V, flip it horizontally and then move it over to the other side. Now we want to rotate it. Mm, not there. Let's move it up toward the face and then we'll take this arm, cut it with Ctrl X, choose the hair and hit Ctrl V to paste it in front of it. Take the other arm and kind of angle it sort of like this. Basically we want to have it look like it's pointed up toward her face. Kind of like so. Now press R for the rectangle tool, drag out a rectangle and drag the corners completely in. Let's give it the same color fill as the shirt and then make it slightly darker. And a little darker than that. So we're going to re-choose the shirt color and then drag it down instead. There we go. Now press R for the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle over the shape. Choose both shapes and go to subtract. We want to convert this to a path with Control shift p and then cut it with Control x Choose the arm and hit Control v to paste it in front of it. Now drag that shape up and rotate it. Then we're going to resize it, holding Shift, until we get it right about where we want it. Now copy that shape with Control c Control v flip it horizontally, and then drag it to the other side, holding Shift. Take the arm, cut it with Control x choose the back hair and hit Control v to paste it in front of it. Now take the hand, copy it with Control c Control v and drag it up to there. And we're going to rotate it. We're going to rotate it in toward the face. Like I want to have it like she's holding a phone, I think. So take that hand shape, copy it with control C, control V, make it larger and then narrower. And I want to give it kind of a neon -y pink color. So we'll choose pink and we'll drag it to more of like a neon pink. And then we'll send the phone to the back with control shift down. Actually, let's cut the phone with control X, choose the arm and hit control V to paste it in front of the arm. Now I want to take the pupils, select them all holding shift and drag them over toward the right so that they're looking more at the phone. Good. Let's take the phone. We're going to make it taller and drag it down and a little bit taller. I just want it to look bigger. Press R for the rectangle tool, drag out a rectangle, and bring the corners all the way in. And then we want to give it the same color fill as the eyes. And then make it a little narrower. Then press E for the ellipse tool, drag out a perfect circle holding shift, and we want it to be the same size as the rectangle, and give it the same color dark fill. There we go. Select both shapes holding shift, drag them over, and then rotate them to fit on the back of the phone. We're just adding a little detail here. Nice. Now press R for the rectangle tool, drag out a small rectangle, round the corners all the way in, give it the same dark fill, send it to the back with control shift down and drag it over and slightly rotate it. Okay. Coming along. Now we're going to use the library to create a shape. If you choose library and hit shapes, we can select the heart and it puts it right in the center of the canvas. I want to reduce that size down till it fits on the center of the shirt right about there. Let it snap, move it up a little bit and then we're going to make it white. So go over and give the fill, not the border, the fill. Let's make the fill white. There we go. Now we're going to make legs. Let's press E for the ellipse tool, drag out a noble, give it the same color fill as the arms. Now we're going to drag it down in front of the skirt and we need to reduce the size to make it fit behind the skirt. Right about there, a little bit smaller. There we go. Let it kind of snap. Then send it to the back with control shift down. Now we're going to copy it with control C, control V and holding shift and alt, we're going to drag it toward the center. There we go. Select both shapes and go up and choose subtract. Now press R for the rectangle tool, draw a rectangle across the bottom right about there Take both shapes and then subtract. And then send it to the back with Control Shift down. Very good. Press E for the ellipse tool, holding Shift, drag out a circle. Give it the same color fill as the belt. Press R for the rectangle tool and drag it across half of the circle. We want to select both shapes and go up and choose subtract. Then take that shape that's left and convert it to a path with Control Shift P. Drag it down there. 
Now copy it with control C, control V, and then drag it over holding shift. And there we go. We want to select the legs and convert them to a path by hitting control shift P. Then press R for the rectangle tool and drag a rectangle over the leg. And we want to give this a very light gray or like a white fill, basically making a sock. I'd say light gray, there we go. Select the shape, hit control X, choose the legs, go up to edit and hit paste inside selection. Nice. Now double click on that shape till it's selected, right there, and then hit control C, control V and drag it over holding shift. We now have two socks. Very good. I want the legs a little longer. Select the entire lower leg section, holding shift, deselect the skirt. Whoops. You gotta make sure that skirt's deselected or you will drag it down. There we go. Now drag the legs down just a bit. There we are, that's better. Now I wanna add a little detail to the mouse. So let's choose the mouth, convert it to a path by hitting Control Shift P or right click and convert to path. And press the ellipse tool and drag a perfect circle out holding shift. And we want this to be a lighter red color for the tongue. Once you have your color, drag the ellipse over top of the amount, cut it with control X, choose the mouth, and go up to edit and hit paste inside selection. Then drag it slightly to the left and resize it a bit. There we go. Now press R for the rectangle tool, drag out a rectangle across the top of the mouth, bring the corners all the way in, and give it a white fill. And we're going to choose that shape, hit control X, choose the mouth, and go up to edit, paste inside selection. There we go. Very good. Now we press E for the ellipse tool, drag an oval out at the bottom of the body, give it the same fill as the belt, and give it a 20% opacity. Center it to the character, and then send it to the back with Control Shift down. Now we'll just give this background as kind of a blue color, and we'll delete both these other assets. And there we go. And now save your document. Very nice. Now we'll go up and we can choose file, export, and save it as a PNG, a JPEG, or an SVG, or any of the other file formats listed. And that completes the drawing. Thank you for joining me in this lesson. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe, like, or comment. If you have a request or something you would like to see me draw, please leave it in the comments below. Also, if you would like to support the creation of these videos and earn other additional rewards, please check the video description for my Patreon information. Always remember that anyone can be creative, just believe in yourself and work hard. Thank you and have an amazing day.